आई नेवर थ्राइव इन दैट सिस्टम जहाँ आप किसी को एक नंबर से जज कर सकते हो या इसके इतने मार्क्स हैं इसके नहीं है तो ये बेवकूफ है ये तो सच नहीं है बट अब क्या है दोबारा वही हो गया बिकॉज अब वो फैक्ट्री बन गई है कॉन्टेंट की हर इंसान की एक एज में एक शिफ्ट होता है ना वे यू रियलाइज योर पेरेंट्स आर नॉट देयर फॉर एवर एंड आफ्टर वॉचिंग दैट मूवी तो आई गॉट इवन मोर डिस्ट्रॉइड द वन थिंग दैट मेक्स पेन इजियर टू डील विथ इज टू लर्न अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट इट्स सो यूनिवर्सल हमें लगता है कि हम जो भी कुछ क्रिएट करते हैं वो आउटर कंजम्पन के लिए होना चाहिए बट काफी सारी राइटिंग पर्सनल भी होनी चाहिए आई फील ट्रू मेजर ऑफ सक्सेस आपके लिखे गए आपके बोले गए जोक्स कितने लाइक like, दोस्त एक दूसरे को कैजुअली बोलते हैं आई स्टिल कॉल माई फ्रेंड एंड मनोज Hi everyone, welcome to Chalchitra Talks. Mera naam Bani hai and this is one of our guest episodes. In this episode, I sat down with Malika Dua, who is an amazing actress, comic, writer and a lot more. And we discussed a lot of things. Books, movies, our influences, food, and we also touched upon various aspects of grief and loneliness. I had a great time recording this conversation and there was so much to learn from Malika and I hope you'll enjoy this conversation as much as I did. So without wasting further time let's just jump right in. Hi Malika how are you welcome to Chalchitra Talks. Hi Vani I'm very well thank you for having me. Um I'm very happy to be here meri awaaz badi kharab hai. But um yeah. very happy to be here. We're so excited to host you and without wasting any time I just want to jump into recommendations. पहले तो आई वॉन्ट टू नो लाइक वॉट इज योर रिलेशनशिप विद बुक्स आई बाय द मोस्ट बुक्स इन द वर्ल्ड आई आई बाय मोर बुक्स इन एनी वन हु रीड्स लाइक अ बुक अ वीक मैं पढ़ूंगी कुछ नहीं फिर आई थिंक आई जस्ट एंक्शियसली होल्ड बुक्स इन द होप ऑफ रीडिंग दैम समे और क्या है ना कि मेरा दिमाग इतना हाईजैक हो चुका है बाय सोशल मीडिया एंड बाय माइंडलेस स्क्रोलिंग की अच्छी चीजों के लिए वक्त नहीं मिल पाता वो जब कोर्स करके कॉलेज में पढ़ना पड़ता था ना पेपर के लिए वही अच्छा था आई थिंक आई थिंक वी शुड ऑल बी बीट डू दैट बट आई बी लाइंग इफ आई आई रीड अ लॉर्ड आई डोंट बट एक्चुअली पता है क्या हो गया आजकल पहले जैसे सिर्फ किताबें पढ़ना पढ़ना माना जाता था राइट तो आजकल हम अलग अलग सोर्सेज से पढ़ते हैं लॉट ऑनलाइन एक्चुअली आर्टिकल्स जर्नल्स इवन इफ यू वॉच अ कॉन्वर्सेशन इट्स इट अमाउंट्स टू reading an interview or right 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 uh, i should correct my question now what's your relationship with reading <laughs> with reading no no that's yeah. fine so i i think maybe i read more than i did back uh, i mean till a few years ago but it's still nowhere near what it should be and bahut achhi achhi books hain meri zindagi mein jo main khareedti rehti hu aur mere delhi wale ghar mein na mere dad ki puri library hai floor to ceiling it's very beautiful and now my life's aim is how ha- i have to read all of that how how can i not you know the yeah. so sections mein mai mom ne bade acche se catalog bhi ki thi idhar ek side sab hindi novels urdu poetry phir beech mein uh, everything to do with politics and um the freedom struggle and anything to do with that and then something else on the side then his english literature cuz he was an english literature student then there's a coffee table there two towers of coffee table books एंड देन मेरी अपनी खुद की किताबें जो मैं रैंडमली खरीदती रहती हूँ और चार पेज पढ़ती हूँ पर हाँ पढ़ना तो है पढ़ना तो है कैटेगरी ऑफ बुक्स यू कीप ऑन गोइंग बैक टू सो लेटली व्हाट्स हैपेंड things that kind of talk about life existing beyond this realm um for obvious reasons that those things interest me now the week we lost mama someone recommended and a lot of people end up recommending this one book uh, which is called uh, the sounds of silence it's by this uh, author late nan umrigar and she lost her 19 year old son kal uh, very tragically many 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 years ago um and he was uh, an ace horse rider and he passed away in, in an accident you know with a he had a hoof mark like he got hit by the horse and just how um the process of her losing him and then her finding him again i mean people may or may not believe in auto writing and things like that but 
वो बस उनका एक अकाउंट है हाउ शी वॉज ग्रीविंग एंड हाउ शी कनेक्टेड विद हिम एंड हाउ शी मेड सेंस ऑफ दैट लॉस यू नो एंड हाउ शी फाउंड हिम एंड फाउंड लाइफ अगेन एंड एवरी वन हैज अर ओन वेज ऑफ कोपिंग बट आई थिंक ये जो बुक्स होती है ना जो एक टाइम ऑफ सफरिंग में आपकी लाइफ में आती है तो दे लीव यू विद दिस इट्स लाइक अ हैंड यू कैन होल्ड एनी टाइम यू नो वेन यू डोंट हैव आंसर्स एंड उन्होंने फिर और भी किताबें लिखी थी लिसनिंग टू द साइलेंस बी ऑन द साइलेंस जैसे एक टाइम पे होता था कि हम लोग साई सचरता खोलते थे कि कोई भी सवाल होता था मन में यू जस्ट ओपन इट टू फाइंड एन आंसर नाउ इट्स दैट बिकॉज वी बिलीव दैट आर पेरेंट्स कम्युनिकेट विद अस थ्रू दैट and it's a thing of belief it's very personal i never ever tell anyone that you must or you whatever but the one thing that makes pain easier to deal with is to learn about the fact that it's so universal and that everybody goes through it and comes out of it in different mm-hmm. ways so when i read that that really like changed something inside me like completely you know to aaj bhi wo ek kitab hai jo main bar bar jiske paas main jaati hu एंड जैसे आजकल में मैंने ये शुरू किया है प्रूफ ऑफ हेवन प्रूफ ऑफ हेवन आई डोंट नो यू कैन सी इट टू अ न्यूरो सर्जन जर्नी इन टू दी आफ्टर लाइफ एंड बेसिकली न्यूरो सर्जन डॉक्टर एलेक्सेंडर एंड ही हैज अ न्यूर डेथ एक्सपीरियंस वेर लाइक हिज ब्रेन आई आई नॉट रियली रेड इट बट हिज ब्रेन स्टॉप्स वर्किंग बट ही इन दैट कोमोटो स्टेट और वट एवर ही discovers that there is life beyond this realm is what he says and i am yet to find out ki kya hai okay but obviously the name the fact that my sister recommended it that had a blue butterfly my fans will know what that means to me uh to abhi main ye pad rahi hu aajkal mera dhyan yahan zyada hai but mera jo all time jam hota hai na wo fiction mein ya kisi bhi cheez mein yahi hota hai ki ek duniya ho jahan main thoda escape kar saku but in a very like um but i can see myself in the protagonist okay so i don't have any abstract things that i love like i watch everything online ho ya main sab padhti jitna pad pati hu my favorite genre is like rom com and chick lit and i do i like and i've always said this i don't think anyone comes close to the way anuja chauhan writes uh, for india the nuances of how love happens and she's what i like is that she's written it for different periods a lot of it mentioned my school modern school a lot of it mentioned doordarshan in the 80s which of course i grew up hearing about from my father yeah. so um it was a very special read uh, and then i read all her other books after that and mujhe bada maza aata i love how she does romance it's so <laughs> like yeah. like typical rom com desi um i just wish her stuff was adapted better in india <laughs> in yeah. a cinema format it's just i don't think there's any justice done to anything that she writes on screen like mm. her books deserve better her books her protagonists deserve to be shown better do you But have any favorite adaptations where you think <clears throat> like uh, where you read a book and you were like oh isme protagonist ubhar ke aaya wow that's a deep one to me personally i love notting hill yeah. i don't like pretty woman much i think it's very overrated but i love notting hill यही है ना मेरी प्रॉब्लम मुझे कुछ याद नहीं रहता व्हेन यू आस्क मी कैन यू जस्ट ओह इज देयर एनी मूवी गो बैक टू अगेन एंड अगेन इज देयर एनी मूवी आई गो बैक टू अगेन एंड अगेन जस्ट समथिंग दैट्स वेरी कंफर्ट वॉच फॉर यू कि अगर कुछ नहीं आ रहा मैं ये देख लूंगी यू नो बैक इन द डे होता था ये बिफोर ओटीटी होता था ये यू नो हम लोग तब लव एक्चुअली देख लेते थे बार बार हम एक तो जनरेशन लव एक्चुअली एक्चुअली not romcom but i felt that when i watched uh, the namesake i tried even when watching it and while reading it of course 
on the credit, the larger credit goes to Jhumpa Lahiri for that. I felt very similar heartbreaking emotions uh, in both yeah. cases, right? So basically it was dealt with sensitively, I felt. It's not a rom-com by any stretch of imagination, but yeah, because that's a very clear memory. And because I watched it at an age where I was, I was leaving for college and um, I was homesick before leaving. <laughs> I think wo har insaan ki ek age makes shift hota na, where you realize your parents are not there forever. Mera yeah. pata nahi bahut pehle ho gaya tha. And after watching that movie, toh, I got even more destroyed. <laughs> like, I was like, oh. This yeah. happened to me this year. I was reading this book. It's called Notes on Grief. And it's yeah. about, the, yeah. yeah yes. And um, she loses a father and it's an account of it. And I just read that book and it took me, it's, it's a very short book. You can yeah, finish it's, it's three this, to four hours. It, is, yeah. it took me a month to finish it because I was crying every day. Yeah. yeah. But then um, I really loved the overall message, how grief is something that's very personal and happens to everyone. But despite that, it's very personal in nature. Yeah. You realize all the wrong things you've said to friends who've lost people close to them. And I think that's something that this book really conveys very well. Do you also read poetry? Uh, not really. I mean, the only poetry I would read is the one my father would read out to me. Now, though, we don't have a choice now. We're just bombarded with really mediocre poetry online. Just say, Dekho, koi larka <laughs> ho jata hai, you know. So I can't read it, but... Papa would listen to some of them. Randomly, he would break into something or the other. And he was very good in his Urdu. His dialect was like he was talking about the pronunciation. So he used to do a lot of that. Like I said, I think I'd outsourced my entire gyan all my life because I used to take it for granted. It's like when you go to a good college, you don't have to study if you have a child in your life. And then when you graduate, and then when you graduate, you realize, oh shit, I had a lot of gyan and I had a lot of gyan. So I think it's my own. Now I have to read this. I think you'll have to interview me again when I've read um, most of what my dad has in his library because it's beautiful. In fact, you should come to Delhi and do a Definitely. in-person session where we read some of it. We should do that. When you are finally satisfied and you've made notes and everything, you can again catch up in Done. Delhi. Done. But do I read poetry? Hmm. No, but I was, you know, like any other child, uh, when I was in school, I was very inspired by Invictus, the poem, yeah. and uh, I knew nothing about it. Uh, <laughs> and I just wanted to feel like a rebel and I wanted to feel like someone very inspiring. So I used to recite it every chance. Like I used to be a debater in school and I used to host a lot. So I used to do this too. And um, <laughs> I used to feel very cool saying, I'm the master of my fate. I'm the captain of my soul. I'm like, what are you doing in class? Of course, that, that poem makes a lot of sense now to me. Now when I read each word, I'm like, wow, it's truly about um, human spirit or whatever. I think last year when I um, did a spoken word piece with Anirez, that's when I realized that there is an appetite for spoken word and I have to say it because a comedian is a tag that has been lost because of uh, I think what I did and because there was there were a lot of people like me at that time who started but I don't look at myself just as a comedian I think um, I look at myself as someone who finds a way to connect with people through whatever my truth is and some and most days that truth comes out in the form of comedy but some days it doesn't you know mm. and um, <clears throat> doesn't mean you don't express yourself on those days and I feel ki, I feel spoken word is something I will do more often not compulsively for the sake of performing yeah. but when you say something which is in a sketchy funny way nahi nikal paega, yeah. I will do that yeah that was a very special experience for me writing that and working on that do you write regularly or just when the inspiration strikes I journal now um, but creatively, I don't write regularly. Again, I'm a very indisciplined, spontaneous sort of a person, you know. And this career is randomly and in, in a good way. It's, yeah. it's great. But what happens is that I have a discipline. You become suddenly a freelancer and you don't know that you have to be more disciplined when you become a freelancer. Hey. So I don't write regularly. I don't write regularly. 
बट जब दिल से निकलता है तब आई लाइक आई नो आई हैव दिस व्हाट डू यू से आई हैव अ गुड कनेक्शन विद माय इनर वॉइस व्हेन आई व्हेन आई शट एवरीथिंग ऑल द नॉइज आउटसाइड एंड आई एम एबल टू राइट नॉट जजिंग इट फॉर द प्रोज एंड दिस एंड दैट बट आई एम एबल टू एक्सप्रेस माय ट्रूथ ऑनेस्टली दैट आई एम एबल टू um but i wish i could do it more often it's a discipline in wo yahi hota hai ki aapko apna jitna wo hi nahi hota ki wo kagaz lik lik ke kagaz crush yeah. karke phenkna wahi hota hai wo <laughs> so, aapka jitna cringe like you have to really um examine and confront all the cringe within you uh, and get over it and then keep writing that's the reason i am not able to do stand up also because i'm like she kon ja ke open mic mein gande jo crack karega and like you know and i know i can do it it's it's yeah. It's a pretty natural extension to what I do, but um, ये होता है यार ये अपने अंदर के cringe को confront कर पाना. But मैं mm-hmm. journal करती हूँ, which really helps me. Uh, Have you started doing it recently, or like were you always into journaling? Recently, I think after after mum, uh, it started with me writing letters to her. Uh, I wouldn't count that as journaling, but वो ऐसे panic letters नहीं होते. तो ये कभी कभी ना एक when you are in pain you call out to your mother right so i used to call out to her and i'm like but you know whatever so then i just i was like i have to talk to her i have to text her i have to do something you know mm. and i remember on a plane i started writing a letter to her um and since then i've written like i don't know how many letters to her and then i started writing to papa also and then i started journaling eventually um and journaling is very helpful i realized <clears throat> या लाइक हमें लगता है कि हम जो भी कुछ क्रिएट करते हैं वो आउटर कंजम्पन के लिए होना चाहिए यू you नो know? उसका एक कोई ट्रांजैक्शनल रिटर्न होना चाहिए कितने व्यूज आए उस पर कितने लोगों ने देखा आप किसी ब्रांड ने काम दिया आपका ये काम पब्लिश हुआ बट काफी सारी राइटिंग पर्सनल uh, भी होनी चाहिए आई फील यू नो आई थिंक योर बेस्ट राइटिंग शुड एक्चुअली बी पर्सनल एंड बाई बेस्ट आई डोंट मीन बेस्ट लाइक matlab to win an award best but more like your most authentic work right uh, and that's okay if that goes unpublished or unwitnessed so i'm focusing more on that mujhe lagta hai ki main jitna khud ke liye likh paungi utna i'll be okay writing for anyone else to consume it it's that same logic no you cannot be loved by anyone else if you don't love yourself enough yeah so i look at it um, look at it like that पता नहीं मुझे आजकल बड़े ख्याल आने लगे हैं कि मुझे किसी तरह का न्यूज लेटर शुरू करना है बिकॉज आई रियलाइज दैट आई है कॉल विद थेरेपिस्ट फॉर अ ग्रीफ सर्कल लाइक अ प्रिलिमिनरी कॉल एंड आई जस्ट रियलाइज दैट देर आर जस्ट टू मेनी पीपल हु लाइक लिव इन पेन एंड दे डोंट प्रोसेस इट एंड मेन एस्पेशली लाइक एन पीपल लॉर्ड ऑफ वीमेन स्टिल seek therapy and they express themselves but i don't see too many men doing it especially after what we all collectively went through the last two years you know the loss every day we were losing someone or the other yeah i don't think a lot of people have processed it um because people like me hamare paas wo luxury thi ki hum freelancers the to hamare paas time tha to break down but kuch logo ke paas nahi tha they had to get back to work they had to make up all the money that they lost and in the process they have not been able to fully come to terms with what they went through and i feel that i want to speak to them because like certain people sharing their experiences like sounds of silence helped me i feel that i that's the only way we all overcome uh this pain if we have to live with it there's no getting over it but how to even live with it is something that others can help you understand right mm-hmm. so i think i'd like to write on those lines at some point i don't know i i think i want to write it with my sister she's a clinical psychologist and so her insights will obviously be more than valuable i don't know if she wants to write with me though she's very educated mere sath hoy likhi hai hat but i think i'm very private person like even though we have public instagram profiles and everything i really do not post anything that's very personal i hate yeah. doing it. but recently i posted this one poem on um, my insta handle which said take everything one day at a time it was a very nice piece about how somebody's grandmother once told them sab kuch ek step mein lo it's okay it's absolutely okay 
and i was really surprised with how many people really resonated with it i thought okay theek hai main hi wo insaan hu jaise struggle karti hai main hi wo meri zindagi mein dukh dard hai but no it's everyone is going through something and i think what really helps is you knowing that okay there are more people who are with me in this yeah one day at a time is a whole life philosophy right like yeah. people say na that your life is divided into two parts before you lost the greatest love of your life and after right because it's not the same after that but one day at a time is the only way right because you how can you imagine a whole life without without people who make that life you can imagine a day you can imagine an hour but nothing else and that's the only way you get by one day at a time aaj ka and literally i used to pray as like aaj ka din guzar jaye bas aur phir kal ka din guzar jaye aur phir parso guzar jaye and aise karte 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 wo your life grows around that grief you know grief nahi chhota hota wo aise bade drawings hote na you see on those self help pages where if this is your pain your grief or whatever your life keeps growing around it but grief doesn't get smaller um, and that's what happens one day at a time do you think sharing, sharing what you've gone through sharing um, <clears throat> your emotions has helped for example we say you know a loss shared is something that's always helpful and helps you grow further and sooner 100% i see one thing was also ki i i also shared my parents with a lot of people i don't mean as parents but they were very loved by a lot of people right i remember that one and a half months uh, of the second wave mai instagram pe nahi ja pati thi obviously i was just on ss anxiety medication but mai sirf jaati thi unke updates post karne ke liye ki aaj ye ho raha hai unke sath because somehow i just knew ki they just they didn't have an audience they had people who loved them you know so i had to let them know what is happening um it was like letting their friends know uh so i think the sharing was that obviously in when you're all alone like i was alone in delhi and my sister was in bangalore to ye as hum akele the to us waqt mein aapko ye bhi sunna hai ki dusre log aapko bata rahe ki ye theek ho jayega and you need everyone's prayers at that time you know after some time you realize ki prayers ka ye effect transactional nahi hota ki humne aapke liye pray kiya aur aapko jo chahiye tha wo mil gaya आपके लिए जो सही होता है आपको वो मिलता है सही इन द सेंस व्हाट सेव्स एवरीवन दैट्स व्हाट यू गेट फ्रॉम अ प्रेयर um so there were a lot of prayers in world and uh, i think for that also we share we share our grief like we share our joy and i don't think that social media is only to share your curated best moments agar aapki ek community hai jo aapne banayi hai and i don't just mean audience but a community of people who are very invested in you and who look at you as like one of their own then you should feel comfortable sharing with them what's going on and that's it's personal like i know people my friends who went through exactly what i did or even worse and they've not till date shared anything with anybody maybe it's a gender difference maybe it's a personality difference but um i had to let people know uh, and i had to um, i needed their prayers like i desperately needed their prayers all their prayers but then i couldn't uh, about my dad for the six months that um, he was around because it was a it was a lost battle from the start i would say but again when we when things got bad with him i had to tell people again because he was a public figure and people wanted to know um but wo hota hai i think aapko akela kam lagta hai i think when you tell people you know um no oh, definitely you feel less alone like even now if i see some picture of theirs or there's some very aching memory that has to be expressed because i think naturally the way i express myself is by sharing kabhi you share it as comedy kabhi you share it as um <clears throat> anger which i don't recommend doing online <laughs> i've done it and it's quite a bad idea but i do one thing when i'm like kuch hai na bahut zor se dard ho raha hai na turn it into words just do it don't just keep it inside if you if it doesn't come out as tears then it's going to come out as words it will you know uh, how i discovered you i discovered you through my mother when she recommended me your girl yapa video why hot girl travel <laughs> and she sent me the video she's like this is you this is you 
But I wanted to ask you, do you, what are your comedy inspirations? Like, where do you get all these characters from? Because my mom's a huge fan and she's always constantly sending me reels and stuff that you post on Instagram. Firstly, hi to your mother. Hello. And um, thank you for watching. Secondly, uh, influences were randomly life me the. I think my first comedy influence was my dad because he was a very funny person. Like people didn't know that obviously because of what he did professionally. He's a very funny person. ऐसी कोई चीज नहीं थी जिसका वो मजाक नहीं उड़ाते थे ऐसी कोई चीज नहीं थी जिसको वो मिमिक नहीं कर पाते थे और हमारे आस पास जितने भी नमूने होते थे पता नहीं ये ना एक इनग्रेन मेरे डीएनए में था कि कोई भी चीज मजाक उड़ाने के ऊपर नहीं है किसी भी चीज का मजाक उड़ाया जा सकता है स्कूल में ऐसे नमूने टाइप टीचर्स भी थे एंड आई डोंट नो मेरे को मेरा ये वे ऑफ एक्सप्रेसिंग मैसेज था कि जब भी मुझे थोड़ा सा ओप्रेस्ड लगता था या दबा हुआ लगता था या हेल्पलेस लगता था वो एज कॉमेडी निकल के आता था um just something i think i've noticed in a lot of pakistani humor also it's very yeah. funny it's very funny like for me like i feel bushra ansari is like too good like none of us none of the girls we see on reels nobody has anything on her and i am urging everyone to lose talk sabne dekha hoga anwar maksood ke sath wo please dekhiye it's like gold sketch comedy I used to watch Catherine Tate when I was growing up. She's so brilliant. I loved Kristen Wiig on SNL. So Neil Grover, I think, is one of the finest that we have in terms of like the characters that he comes up with, like comedy gold. Nobody does it the way he does. Sasha Baron Cohen, just the beauty of the random, you know, ki uh, apni reality banao and chahe bahar kuch bhi ho raha. I think that's my favorite uh, way of doing comedy where there's one normal person and then one <laughs> complete crackpot <laughs> and both are very convinced about their realities I love that kind of comedy and that has I think unknowingly influenced me quite a bit or else and I think movies we watched growing up usually andaz apna apna jane bhi do yaro mujhe to wo bhi bhoat pasand thi ad kar di aapne yeah usne <laughs> there was just like really stupid tv ka scene everyone who's watched it knows i have very like ridiculous days <laughs> one stupid scene where govind is playing all his family members <laughs> like yeah ye to aajkal online bhi hota hai but that jaise wo hua tha na where he played all his family members bahut funny tha growing up kya hota hai ki aap bas kuch enjoy karte ho aur wo subconsciously aapka ek hissa ban jati hai right yeah. i think now we consume to create which is i, I don't know how good i think when we this is what i was thinking yesterday also mm-hmm. i was watching maine pyar kiya for some reason i ended up there by mistake i clicked on that what is this thing. reason vani <laughs> <laughs> so anyway i ended up watching it and there was this uh, scene where the i think bhageshwari is uh, i can't remember bhageshri yes sorry bhageshri she's uh, teaching her father how to study alphabets and i realized oh when you're growing up when you're grown up or an adult it's very difficult to learn things when you're growing up everything that you do everything that you watch just becomes a part of you i'm just going back to the things that i saw or read when i was growing up and i'm wondering how weird they were because obviously the personality in question is very weird yeah like i it would be very fancy only to cite the like cool examples but the fact is hum hamare sabke dimag mein jo jo humne dekha tha tv pe sony z ye wo सब गुस्सा है हमारे अंदर कोई ओटीडी वगैरह में हम बड़े तो हुए नहीं थे सब कुछ हिस्सा था आई थिंक वन ऑफ माय ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमेडी लर्निंग्स वाज ग्रोइंग अप इन दिल्ली आई थिंक यू शुड मीट सो मेनी रैंडम पीपल एंड देन आई मेट सम मोर रैंडम पीपल थ्रू एडवर्टाइजिंग आई रियलाइज आपके लाइफ में जितने वेरीड एक्सपीरियंसेस होंगे ना आपको उतने नमूने मिल पाएंगे सच्ची में एंड आई थिंक वन लिटिल पैरेलल ऑफ बीइंग अ लिटिल पॉपुलर इज दैट मे बी सम ऑफ द एवेन्यूज गेट शॉट ऑफ आई डोंट नो पता नहीं नजरिए की बात है आई थिंक अ लॉर्ड ऑफ माय कॉमेडी लर्निंग केम फ्रॉम परफॉर्मिंग कॉमेडी प्लेस आई यूज्ड टू डू दैट व्हेन आई वाज सो आई आई गॉट माय डिग्री इन थिएटर बट एंड दैट वाज नॉट दिस फनी काइंड ऑफ थिएटर व्हिच इज वेरी सीरियस लाइक एक्टिंग स्कूल वाइब्स अम बट व्हेन आई वुड कम हियर टू इंडिया फॉर द समर हम लोग का एक थिएटर ग्रुप था और हम लोग कॉमेडी प्लेस करते थे वो बड़े पागल कॉमेडी प्लेस होते थे लाइक जैसे द स्टफ दैट यू सीन मी डू ऑनलाइन इट वाज दैट इनटू लाइक 10x और व्हाटएवर इनटू 10x नहीं दैट 10x आई थिंक क्योंकि जो आप परफॉर्म करके आप कॉमिक टाइमिंग सीखते हो ना व्हेन यू वाइब विद योर को एक्टर्स राइट दैट आई डोंट थिंक एनीथिंग एल्स कैन टीच यू लाइक आई डोंट थिंक दैट कैन जस्ट बी लर्नड थ्योरेटिकली यू हैव टू परफॉर्म टू नो 
um, what like beautiful comic chemistry is. Um, and I've been lucky to like have performed with really funny people. I have no complaints. I think as far as comedy goes, I've got really good work. And Do you have any favorite sketches that you would recommend to people? That people are starred in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you know the thing is, I realize me too. But I'm scared to recommend something because I don't know how it has aged. You know, like you yeah. know, founders are really funny at the time, and then you're like, oh, okay. but <laughs> in the spirit of self love. Uh, I have really enjoyed all the work that I did um, with AIB back when it existed. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed um, the Tinder auntie character. I enjoyed the Monica Singh, the news character. I really enjoyed the girly Appa sketches. I enjoyed um, my first Sarojini Nagar will always be special because I... That's lovely. There's an innocence to it. No, I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Multiple characters and... <laughs> my zone it was Delhi it was Sarojinagar I think sometimes when I just type my name on YouTube no random things that even I don't remember I've done uh, yeah. because I was doing a lot of work when I just broke into the scene and some of it was unexpectedly like really fun and funny so yeah of course these are the more well known special ones for people who maybe are discovering me through this interview they can see this or they can see some of my older stuff, they can scroll way down on Instagram. I think that is one <laughs> that I love because that came from a very random headspace. You know, like, could be better, 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 bold, yeah. Tab koi dar ni hota tha ki, um, iski engagement kya hogi, iski insights kya honge, ye hai, wo hai, algorithm. No one gave a damn. And that is the environment that you need to create something memorable. Mm, absolutely. Uh, ye to bohati matlab uh, CBSC, NCRT ka mahal ban chupa hai na bhi. Uh, <laughs> online. <laughs> Would you still look at insights or do you just go with the flow? I wouldn't if I could. And I really don't give a damn. And my managers and like people, uh, obviously, they, they don't feel happy about this habit of mine. But I am like violently against insights because we are like the cut-off system, right? At least I, me, I never thrived in that system where you can एक नंबर से जज कर सकते हो या इसके इतने मार्क्स हैं इसके नहीं है तो ये बेवकूफ है ये तो सच नहीं है बट अब क्या है दोबारा वही हो गया बिकॉज़ अब वो फैक्ट्री बन गई है कंटेंट की एंड बिकॉज़ ब्रांड्स एंड एजेंसीज एंड पीपल डोंट वांट टू मेक द एफर्ट टू एक्चुअली रिसर्च ऑन अ क्रिएटर एंड नो हु दे आर एंड डिसाइड टू वर्क विद देम बेसिस दैट दे वांट टू सेव टाइम सो दे विल से इसके इनसाइड्स बता दो इसके ये नंबर्स बता दो मैंने कहा बट हम में से कुछ लोग हैं जिन्हें नहीं अपील करना पूरी दुनिया को करना भी है तो अपने टाइम पे करना है राइट mm-hmm. right? लाइक like, मेरे लिए जो चीज मैंने एक्सपीरियंस नहीं किया उसके बारे में स्केच बना देना बड़ा इनोथेंटिक लगता है मुझे वो नहीं होता कि अपनी मम्मी की एक्टिंग करना कि मैं तेरे चप्पा से मारूंगी आई कांट डू दैट बियॉन्ड अ पॉइंट बिकॉज़ माय मदर वाज नॉट लाइक दैट नाउ दिस इज अ प्रिविलेज शो बट आई एम नॉट एबल टू डू दैट यू नो एज अ रिजल्ट आई रियलाइज कि मैं शायद इतनी रिलेटेबल नहीं हूं इन दिस फैक्टर and yeah. i'm like that's okay that's fine uh jo aapne dekha hai jo aap authentically jis cheez pe hans sakte ho jis cheez ko aap share kar sakte ho wo karo to pehle main bada ye sochti ki yaar main aisi basic baatein nahi bolti tabhi mere insights baaki logo se thode shayad kam hai um but then i was like by the end of the day you don't want to be an insight you want to be a name you want to be remembered for the jokes you crack you i think your true measure of success is आपके लिखे गए आपके बोले गए जोक्स कितने लाइक दोस्त एक दूसरे को कैजुअली बोलते हैं आई स्टिल कॉल माय फ्रेंड्स अनोज एंड मनोज या थैंक्स सो आई लाइक दैट मुझे उसमें ज्यादा थ्रिल मिलता है ऑनेस्टली बिकॉज़ मैं नंबर्स कभी क्रैक कर ही नहीं पाई थी अपनी पूरी लाइफ लाइक ना स्कूल में ना कभी मुझे वो गेम ही नहीं आता है प्रॉब्लम ये है मुझे ये वाला गेम आता है ये टेढ़ी मेढ़ी हरकतों का तो अगर मैं उसमें सक्सेसफुल हूँ सो आई एम फाइन विद दैट एंड आई नो दैट मे बी समाइम्स दैट कम्स एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ बिजनेस आई डोंट नो आई ट्राई नॉट टू नो लाइक मैंने अपनी टीम को बोला मेरे को जानना नहीं है कौन कितने पैसे बनाता है किसको क्या मिला है मैंने आधे क्रिएटर्स को म्यूट करके रखा है नॉट बिकॉज आई डोंट लाइक दैम आई लव दैम बट आई जस्ट डोंट वॉन्ट टू नो बिकॉज क्या होता है ना हम अपनी जिंदगी में खुश होते हैं फिर हम दूसरे की जिंदगी देखते हैं हाई तो अब हमारी जिंदगी कितनी बेकार है नॉट ट्रू अनलर्न दैट बिहेवियर तो हाँ आई एम वेरी against insights and a big naya challenge ho gaya where um, a lot of agencies and brands will approach you saying there's a campaign for so and so brand please send us your insights 
मैंने कहा बिफोर मैं ऑडिशन दूंगी तुम्हारे पोस्ट के लिए ये तो नहीं होने वाला है ये शुरू ही मतलब मतलब आई एम सो सेइंग नहीं 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 ये ऑडिशन नहीं होगा अगर आपको काम करना है हमारे साथ आप कर लो रेड फ्लैग या आई मीन आई लव मनी एंड आई लव मेकिंग मनी बट दिस अप्रोच इज अ बिट रैंडम बिकॉज़ आई एम लाइक आई एम नॉट आई डिडंट आस्क टू पिच टू यू इट्स डिफरेंट इफ आई एम पिचिंग टू यू राइट एंड why i'm so against it because main maine advertising mein jab kaam kiya tha as a copywriter tab yahi model hota tha hmm it is versus agencies uh, uh, sorry agencies versus brands ka right. jahan creatives kehne ko creatives the but unki koi say nahi thi as such hmm. wo aapki creatives ki koi upper boss ki shayad koi say hogi with the brand but brands hi dictate karte the kya bolna hai kaise bolna hai so i'm like but yahan creativity kya hai fir and pehle aisa nahi tha the golden days of advertising were apparently not like this that's when we had the lovely indian ads yeah you know all the ads that we love are typically older ads yeah um to maine ye dekha tha jahan ki koi say nahi thi creative logo ki aur wo unki na ek taang hamesha bandi rehti thi uh, hmm. brand ke aur retainer se and i felt that with this whole um, instagram creator marketing model we had a chance to change that and i still do that because i'm like this is not that system you are actually buying space on my page on my feed so mm-hmm. i have to dictate more of it not you yes you're paying but that doesn't give you don't own me because of that yeah so i try and keep that creative process and i also try and make sure that um, that i work with brands who really know me yeah and you understand what you do yeah because i always say like mere aapko numbers chahiye to mujhse to bahut better better log hain jinke bahut high numbers hain you know not just mujhse most a lot of people like i think there's a clear demarcation like some people don't have numbers like yeah. crazy numbers and some people do but when you see work you realize ki that's not the only criteria that you can put in place yeah hai na so i think wo ek jo perspective hai ki thoda डिलिबरेटली थोड़ा ध्यान से देखना चाहिए आप किसके साथ काम कर रहे हो एक्चुअली क्या होता है कि इफ यूर अ ब्रांड यू टिपिकली आउटसोर्स योर वट एवर दिवाली कैंपेन टू एन एजेंसी एंड यू से कि आई वॉन्ट दिस एंड आई वॉन्ट दिस नंबर एंड दिस इज नॉट टॉगेड एंड यू गेट मी दीज पीपल इन दैट एफर्ट बिकॉज इज बिकम सो लाइक कॉपरेटाइज अगेन आप कुछ भी बोल दोगे कि हाँ हमें ये चाहिए प्लीज गिव आस योर इनसाइट प्लीज गिव आस दिस यू हैव टू कमिट दिस टू अज लाइक प्लेटफॉर्म पे जाके पैसा डाल दो वो वो देख लेंगे राइट बट आप किसी इंसान के साथ कोलेबोरेट कर रहे हो राइट आई एम गेसिंग दैट एंड सम ब्रांड्स आर जस्ट एक्सेलेंट दे नो एग्जैक्टली व्हाई दे आर कोलेबोरेटिंग एंड विद हु लाइक लाइक देयर इज अ गूगल फॉर एग्जांपल यू नो अम दे आर नॉट नेवर टू बिग टू रिसर्च हु दे वांट टू वर्क विद दे नेवर टू बिग टू नॉट पे पीपल वेल पे पीपल ऑन टाइम टू मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट राइटिंग अ गुड ब्रीफ इज एन आर्ट मोस्ट ब्रांड्स विल नेवर राइट अ गुड ब्रीफ दे विल लाइक जस्ट डू दिस you know we want you to talk mm-hmm. about it in your style and then we want to give 100 words of feedback to cut your style <laughs> yeah uh, so i think kaam chori badi hoti hai bahut zyada because logo ko lagta hai ki acha paisa de diya to khatam apna kaam wo nahi hota like writing a good brief giving a good brief is half the job done and there are some great like brand managers and brand leaders who do that in a very traditional way and i think some of the best uh, yeah in fact one of my favorite brand uh, collaborations was with this brand called score and they had this like lubricant loop kind of a thing that they came up with and i did that behuda bibi character with yeah. the red saree and whatever ab udhar kya tha ki unko pata tha wo kiske sath associate kar rahe hain ki wo associate kar rahe hain writers lekar aaye the aur overall mujhe bada maza aaya tha wo karne mein um to aisa bhi hota hai branded work jahan brand is also invested in creating something fun and watchable in the industry i've realized like you should know how to say no did it come have you learned how to say no by now and did it come naturally to you or was it a gradual process i say no too often i think like i say main kuch zyada hi na bolti hu 
initially i didn't say that much because uh, it didn't make sense you're supposed to say a few yeses right to get you yeah. know out there and to get good work but now i find myself saying no v- more often than not because after a point people get stereotyped right and to avoid doing that you have to say no and wo ek apna andar ka narcissist aapko thoda thamna padta hai ki nahi aap apne aap ko screen pe constantly nahi dekhoge that's okay you know aap tab dekhoge when you get something that's hmm worthwhile um so i say no a lot i say like especially to film work i say no a lot hmm. Because you know um, we have a group with our patrons um and we call them godfathers mm-hmm. and uh, i just messaged them at around 11 that i have an episode with you and is there any question and there were at least three people who asked me is she planning on doing any tv ott work or film work because we really are dying to see her babe i would love to if someone casts me matlab <laughs> <laughs> एक तो मैं ना बड़ी शाय हूँ ना मैं किसी से नेटवर्क करती हूँ ना मैं किसी को कुछ बताती हूँ सो आई एम आई जस्ट कीप होपिंग एंड वेटिंग बट इफ एनी वन वॉचिंग दिस प्लीज कॉल मी आई विल बी हैप्पी टू ऑडिशन फॉर यू आई विल बी हैप्पी टू रीड I have studied acting and that's what I want to do. Comedy भी मैं कर लेती हूँ ठीक ठाक Yeah. What are your favorite characters? Uh, everyone has a favorite character that you have played. but what is your most favorite character that you absolutely love bro there isn't one ha huh? there's because ek to meri inherent problem hai ki mere andar bahut sare characters baste hain monday ko koi aur ho sakti hu tuesday ko koi aur weekend pe koi aur so i like all of them yaar wo mood pe nikalta hai like mujhe wo makeup didi wala character bada pasand tha mujhe yeah dehoda bibi bahut pasand thi mujhe shags the i also really enjoy and i used to like this really creepy guy called shantan in the middle i used to really like that also i think mere andar ek bahut bhari shalishka hai which is one like character has to play this really posh buji yeah. my favorite character is uh, the very vulnerable and raw malika dua i think that's my favorite character right <laughs> now But like for a few years i struggled with uh, letting that one out uh, and i so i used to i think borrow voices and identity and whatever and now i find myself being more comfortable showing up like as i am aajkal mera favorite wahi chal raha hai i was uh, i don't know if you know about this blogger uh, slash author maria popova and yeah. she used to run brain pickings i yeah. pronounce the new name for the life of me but she used to have this um, uh, i'll tell you the name wait you stay here i will tell you the name my sister told me marginalian yes i think it is about her because she comes from i think that's how you pronounce it yeah 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 and so you she used to write this um, she <clears> has <throat> a blog where she a uh, blog post where she adds a learning of every year so nine uh years she's been running if she's been running brain pickings for 9 years she has a blog post like my nine learnings through these 9 years or whatever and there was this one um point where she said that you know always have your pockets of stillness where you can go back to in case you know you're feeling overwhelmed do you have any pockets of stillness like that yeah and i'm overwhelmed on a very like daily basis i think <laughs> on my pocket of stillness now is my sister because delhi mein my house is there my family home but like there's no one there besides me and staff very trusted old staff so they are like family and then bombay is work but when i want family when i genuinely just like need oxytocin and family i go to bangalore and for me and that is my pocket of stillness or mm-hmm. um, I'm trying to meditate. I can't have too much chaos in my head. I make sure now I go to bandstand and I just sit, mm-hmm. like, and watch the sea for a bit. Okay. And I keep my phone away because Bombay में वो stillness ढूँढना बहुत मुश्किल होता है. Delhi में तो फिर भी मिल जाता है, like, क्योंकि familiarity है ना जगह से और आपके घर का पता होता है system. Crying is something I hugely believe in. Um, yeah. At the risk of sounding crazy or not but uh, i feel a lot of times na hamare andar jab fear anger frustration being overwhelmed kuch bhi hota hai at least in my case it is a cry waiting to come out and you have to let yourself cry we're not we're not babies who will just involuntarily <laughs> right um 
we have to leave everything. We have to leave all these distractions aside and literally confront what is going on within us. Mm. And a lot of times when I just let it out, I'm like, okay, it's out. I can just be now. Um, there's that. There's journaling. There's walking. I like going on walks. Actually, I end up spending a lot of time alone. So I sometimes also meet friends to center mm. myself. Like good friends. Like Shweta is one of those friends. Yeah. Uh, she's like an older sister. Like people who see you for all the good that's in you. Yeah. Sometimes we end up just seeing ourselves as, oh, I'm so sad and this is so wrong with me and all of that, right? Yeah. Sometimes we need to see those people also who light up when they see you. you yeah. Know? So that's a good reminder. So uh, yeah. I say that please do meet people who love you even if you don't feel like it. Yeah. yeah because you always end up uh, loving your decision of actually pushing yourself to go out. Nothing compensates, like no movie, no book, no play, nothing compensates for yeah. the very real human interaction. Like, we went to London last year, Shweta, mm. Shweta and Mehra, we watched a lot of musicals dekhe, and we went to different places and it was beautiful. But mm. it wouldn't have been had I gone alone, right? Yeah. I mean, it would have been, but it wouldn't have been half as beautiful. Yeah. Also, who you go with that makes that memory very, yeah. very special. Love, pain, everything has to be shared. In order to be like pain gets lesser when you share it, love gets lesser <laughs> when you share it. Yeah. It's a very cool kind of math. <laughs> so um, yeah, people are good. Ah, speaking of musicals, um, we watched the recommendations. Ki baat hui liye to. Yeah, uh, I watched Book of Mormon for the third time. <laughs> it's a very funny, like bizarre and cutsy as hell musical. You may even yeah. and um. <clears throat> Not a musical, but we watched uh, the stage adaptation of To Kill a Mockingbird, mm. which is by Aaron Sorkin, the adaptation. Beautiful. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Then uh, we watched Hamilton, of course. Hamilton is just brilliant. I don't know too much American history, so I, I struggled <laughs> with that. And I was rapping and I was listening to it. I was a little bit grass. But I love the production of it. Um, right. Then we have seen Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, uh, which again, I'm not talking about it from a literature perspective, but it was a brilliant stage production. The tech ka level in that level. If you have a brief idea that you have to put magic on stage, pe hai, like the screen, pe dekha hai, the tech was superb. And what else? we watched a lot of things. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> you know what i if anybody else because we have a recommendation channel and people are constantly asking they meet us and they greet us later they ask you like Pele, recommend kar do and, and i used to blank out as well so i now have started creating lists today i have to this is your, you don't have to now i need to do the same because how we watch phantom of the opera i think i'm probably one of the last people on earth to watch it but i finally watched it and it was like watching something, but the, it was like being in a time capsule, no? oh, 80s mm-hmm. ka synthesizer music, and it's very grand. And it made sense why it's one of the longest running um, things because it's, it's really a spectacle. Yeah. So that was also great. It's nice to see theater and theater that pays and does so well. It reminded me why I wanted to study theater in the first place because even when I was studying in the US. So we watched musicals and it was very good. And not just musicals, but there were immersive pieces. Bhi mm-hmm. hoti. And there used to be this thing called Sleep No More. I don't know if it still exists. It was an adaptation of uh, Macbeth. Like a weird spin-off sort of a thing on Macbeth. Where they'd taken a hotel um, and they'd converted it in like a couple of floors of that. They'd converted into different um, sets of Macbeth. Yeah. And it was very like the everything, lights, actors, sound. It wasn't that play, tha, but it was an immersive experience, which was one my first, um, this was like 2011, when I saw it, I was very shocked. I said, wow, I see cheese. So I'm sure of SS of India, maybe. Yeah. Uh, there are different ways of taking one um, script and doing things with it, right? Like you're not limited. To uh, like that show had dancers, it had actors, it had everybody. It was very like interesting. What plans of doing theater again? I would love to. I would love to do a one woman show. 
um and you know tour with it i would love that but like mai aur shweta and we discussed karte the hum kisi play ke liye gaye the a couple of months ago and we realized that stage acting like very few people master that Mm-hmm. switch where they are so good on stage and then they're so good on screen and mm-hmm. wo screen pe aake stage wali acting nahi karte right. aise right. hota hai like you really have to be a genius like nasruddin shah or i don't know i would struggle with it um mera i think phir bhi thoda expression loud hi nikalta hai because of stage <laughs> like camera acting is a whole other skill you really have to do this <laughs> much um and then we were watching that play and we realized ki bahut hi alag type ki acting की जाती है स्टेज पे टिपिकली लाइक इन दिस लेवल बट लाइक इवन व्हेन आई वाज वाचिंग टू किल अ मॉकिंग बर्ड देयर वर टू थ्री स्क्रीन एक्टर्स डूइंग इट एंड ब्रिलियंट पता नहीं वो कैसे करते हैं जब उनको आप स्टेज पे भी देखो तो वो लाउड नहीं लगते यू नो तो मैं करना चाहती हूं थिएटर बट आई वांट टू बी डायरेक्टेड बाय समवन हु आल्सो डायरेक्ट्स फिल्म आई डोंट नो हाउ दैट वुड हैपन बट दैट्स द दैट्स द चेंज आई वुड वांट और लाइक आई वुड बी हैप्पी मोर देन हैप्पी टू डू अ नाइस रिडिकुलस फनी प्ले Like a crazy funny play जहां लोग ऐसे आए पूरी फैमिली या नॉट के साथ एंजॉय करके जाए बिफोर वी गो आई आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क वॉट इज योर रिलेशनशिप विद फूड लाइक आई यू फूड ह्यूज मैसिव फूड इज द फूड वॉज द लव लैंग्वेज इन आर हाउस माई मम वॉज द बेस्ट बुक इन दर्ल्ड लाइक शी वॉज जस्ट अमेजिंग and she fed me so in my own life <laughs> uh, aur wo wo tamilian thi but wo sab khana bana leti thi she used to bake so beautifully also so food was and my father and his love for food is fairly well known yeah when i went to banaras i was like mujhe kahan jana chahiye so maine ka i was like i type zaika india ka you know do a banaras i found his episode and i was like yeah i'm very bless that way that i get to that i have this there, there's no nothing more precious than this we've grown up eating itna kahan kahan ka khana jaise delhi ke jo sare joints hote the not like do you have any recommendations for someone who's traveling to delhi so delhi mein everyone will recommend kareem of course which is yeah. very amazing wahan jaake ishtu khana hai barra kebab khana hai subah jaake um jama masjid pe al jawahar ki nihari khani hai वहाँ उस इलाके में कूड़े मल की कुल्फी खानी है फिर मटका पीर की बिरयानी खानी है और पंडारा रोड पे जाके आप अपना ये पनीर बटर चिकन फलूदा ये सब कर सकते हो फिर आपको अगर हार्टी इटालियन मतलब इटालियन एज एन देसी ट्विस्ट वाला यम रिच इटालियन चाहिए तो विक्चुअल विक्चुअल इज लाइक कम्फर्ट फूड एवरी थिंग दर इज ब्रिलियंट एंड कंसिस्टेंट एंड यम ई डिजर्ट then yum yum cha has great asian food if you want to spend money and have very good teppanyaki then you go to tk's at uh, the hyatt in delhi very good food not kind to the pocket but kind to the stomach can so <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, um there's a lot of places i grew up there mai kya bolu mujhe na ek wo i love stopping at this place called sabke khatir वहाँ यू गेट योर कबाब रोल टिक्का विक्का सब कुछ मिलता है वहां पे देन एक जगह है होटल खालसा इन मायापुरी ईटिंग दैट फूड यू नो तो वहाँ दे हैव दिस मटन कलेजी विच दे कॉल दाना दाना टिक्का करके विच इज कवर्ड इन दैट लार्ड इन दैट फैट उफ एंड दे पुट इट दे पुट चाट मसाला ऑन इट वो 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 और वहां पे वो बर्रा कबाब भी मिलता है होटल खालसा आयरन नो अभी भी है कि नहीं मायापुरी में वहां जरूर जाना है जहां मैं बड़ी हुई सिविल लाइन्स के पास वहां एक कचौड़ी वाला है सेंट जेवियर स्कूल के बाहर कॉल फतेह की कचौड़ी एंड एवरीवन हु इज फ्रॉम दैट एरिया नोस वेरी नाइस वेरी अनलाइक एनी कचौड़ी यू लेवर हैव लाइक इट्स वेरी चटपटा लाइक चाट मसाले से भरा हुआ चने के साथ हम्म प्याज चना लाइक इट्स लाइक अ चाट कचौड़ी एंड ऑफ कोर्स वैष्णो चाट भंडार इन कमला नगर यू सी आई एम ऑब्सेस्ड एंड I'm so glad we're doing this episode around lunch time. Uh then 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 so many places I don't remember only when this ends. Do you have other places also in different cities? Bangalore, Bombay, Banaras. Yeah, Banaras mein hum zyada bahar gaye nahi. Main matlab ghat pe gayi aur 
मेरा स्टमक थोड़ा सा सेंसिटिव है तो मैंने थोड़ा अपना ये बाहर चाट वाट खाना थोड़ा कम कर दिया बट हम ताज में रह रहे थे ताज गैंजीज एंड ताज केटरिंग इज ऑलवेज ब्रिलियंट राइट तो हमने पहली बार बनारस में खाई टमाटर की चाट जो काफी फेमस है वहां माई फर्स्ट टाइम इन बनारस मैंने और श्वेता तो इतना बनारस जा चुकी इतना शूट कर चुकी उसने भी कभी नहीं खाई थी टमाटर की चाट और हमने मंगाई और हमारा दिमाग खराब हो गया आई नो टमाटर की चाट वॉज एक्चुअली उसमें था टमाटर आलू लॉट ऑफ घी पता एंड ऐसा कभी नहीं होता कि मैं किसी चीज का फ्लेवर ना बता पाऊ इसमें क्या डला है मैं हम नहीं बता पाए इसमें क्या है क्यों इतना डिक्टिव है एंड उसमें वो क्रिस्पीज भी डाले हुए थे विच लुक लाइक बेबी चीज लिंग्स एंड लिटिल बिट ऑफ सेव एंड आई कॉन्ट एक्सप्लेन वॉट इट वॉज उसकी एक पिक्चर डालना आप जरा Oh, it was so good. Shout out to the chef at Taj. <laughs> crazy, yeah. tha, wo crazy. Humne wo khaya, phir, maine wo bhi khaya, jisko wo malaiyo bolate hain, which is makhan malai, jisko ham dolat ki chaat bolate hain Delhi mein. Matlab mm-hmm. mere ko thik laga. I find it very foamy. I'm more of a like a thick, creamy <laughs> dessert kind of a person. Wahan ka veg food to crazy hai, aur bahut hi acha veg food hai Banaras mein. I've realized आप non veg खाते हैं तो आप इतने ध्यान देके veg खाना नहीं बनाते घर पे <laughs> yes <laughs> जहाँ vegetarian होने का बड़ा जोर है ना वहाँ वो बहुत दिल से बनाते हैं we had yeah. one more thing called nimona vadi which was basically okay. मटर का एक बहुत ही squishy सा stew sort of a thing hmm. तो छोटी 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 बढ़ियाँ थी वो hmm. दाल की जो होती है ना इतना fresh इतना yummy like मैंने veg food ऐसे कभी enjoy नहीं किया इस level पे you know Yeah, must travel to Banaras. Must travel to Banaras. Then we had Thandai. That's where I'll stop. And um, <laughs> it was great, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And, um, वहाँ घाट पे एक चाय वाला था. Uh, कौन सा घाट था ये? अस्सी घाट. वहाँ पे एक ही चाय वाला था जो बहुत अच्छी चाय बनाना. Wow, wow, wow. It was beautiful. Then in Bangalore. बैंगलोर में ज्यादातर घर पे खाती हूँ अपनी बहन के घर पे जो बनाती है बट मैं ऑर्डर करती हूँ आई थिंक उस जगह का क्या नाम है I'll, I'll check. It's this Asian food place. वहां से मैं चिकन क्रापा और मंगाती हूँ कई बार और वहाँ एक जगह है आई डी सी इडली दो सौ चटनी आई थिंक इट्स कॉल्ड वहां से मैंने इडली मंगाया थिंग इज आई एम हाफ द मिलियन सो आई ग्रो अपटिंग लाइक अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इडली दो Yeah. तभी मैं बाहर खाती नहीं थी ये सब तो अब खाना पड़ता तो नाउ आई ऑर्डर फ्रॉम देर इट्स आल्सो वेरी गुड टोस्ट एंड टॉनिक इज वेरी गुड एंड आई वेंट टू फार्म लोअर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट प्लेस व्हिच इज इंटरेस्टिंग एंड व्हाट इज दैट अदर वहाँ एक बहुत ही फेमस जगह जो बीच में अभी बंद हो गई थी और शायद मेरे को ये ट्राई करना है बेंगलुरु ऊटा कंपनी विच आई नॉट विच इज अपली ब्रिलियंट वो सब मैंने किया है ना अगर जो ना वगैरह यू नो यू ऑल ऑर्डर दैट ये मैं ज्यादातर बैंगलोर मेरा डिस्कवरी इतना नहीं होता बिकॉज मैं अपनी बहन के घर बैठ के यू नो जो घर पे बनाते हैं वहाँ रागी का काफी यूज होता है सो हर दीदी मेक्स रागी इडली फॉर मी विच आई रिली लाइक ऑल्सो द क्लाइमेट इज मोर सूटेड टू हैविंग रागी लाइक ऑल यूर अराउंड तो आई लाइक दैट देन इन बॉम्बे बॉम्बे इज लाइक ईयर बाय ईयर होता था जैसे जब हम जब मैं शिफ्ट हुई थी तब लाइक बॉम्बे कैंटीन आई थिंक ओपन अ फ्यू इयर्स बिफोर दैट एंड इट वाज ऑल द रेज बिकॉज इट वाज जस्ट इन सेन नो वन हैड एक्सपीरियंस ऐसा टाइप का फ्यूजन यू नो एंड आई स्टिल बिलीव इट्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्रिलियंट मेन्यूज इट वॉज लाइक मेड बाय द शेफ टू गुड इज टू हैव दिस कोकम सवीचे दे यूज टू हैव Coffee rasgulla they used to have. Then their eggs cage is also very different interpretation. Super cheesy and like green chilli se bhara hua. Not the regular keeper se dal diya aur ho gaya. And um, unki ek bhel uh, type hoti thi with lot of sprouts and something and very good menu basically. Then they opened Opedro also, which is I still feel one of the best places in Bombay. Then recently I tried Americano. In Bombay, which I had not tried all this while, and everyone else knew about it because it was town. Me tha. वहाँ क्या खाना है यार अमेरिकानों में so good. वहाँ के बड़ा famous होते हैं वो corn ribs, हाँ hmm. uh, veg ribs which they make with corn that masala. Then I love eating vegetables. Actually, I realize this is the happy part. Yeah. I'm not a corn veg addict alone. And वहाँ मैंने Brussels sprouts खाए हैं grilled. 
देन टाउन में आई लव स्वाति स्नैक्स आई लव दैट गुजराती खाना वो वेज सेव पूरी उनकी होती है जिनमें वो कच्चा आम डाल के कच्ची केरी के पीसेस भी डालते हैं एंड आई लव ऑल ऑफ दैट आई लव बेस्टियन आई लव द क्रैब देर वो बटर गार्लिक ड्रेंच्ड क्रैब जो होता है ट्रूली एंजॉय दैट सी फूड कृष्णा ऑफकोर्स इज अ क्लासिक वो सी फूड इन बॉम्बे एंड मुझे एक चीज बहुत पसंद है जो मैं अब नहीं खा सकती विच इज सेव बर्फी जो सिंधी सेव बर्फी होती है उसको सिंघर का मीठा भी कहते हैं आई थिंक सिंधी लोग सिंधफुल करके एक रेस्टोरेंट है ना बॉम्बे में वहां पर टेस्ट मिलती है अगर आप बॉम्बे में आप ये देख रहे हो आप वो ना टाइम स्टैम डाल देना बॉम्बे रिकमेंडेशन डेली सिंधफुल की सेव बर्फी आई थिंक वो सात बजे के बाद रात को मेन्यू पे होती है इट्स इट्सास्ट इट्स टू गुड मीठे में बॉम्बे में डिस्कवर किया था खाना तो मैं बहुत खाती हूँ अलग एपिसोड ही कर लेना And I, you, I love the pure butter pamiers or the French hearts as we call it. Shri Khand bhi bada pasand hai. I love Shri Khand. Amras bhi mujhe bahut. Amras puri ka mujhe bada ishya hai. And aate ka halwa. Yeah. मतलब मैं जीती खाने के लिए बस. Friends are important, but food is life. Food is. I was in. Uh, I discuss food in therapy because I fall sick very often because of my eating habits. Okay. <laughs> so uh, my therapist also asked me she said, what does food mean you know food was a love language you know yeah and i've been used to soothing myself with food because my mother would give me a lot of like great food and now uh, it's very easy na if you're low or if you're anxious or anything you just eat something but i'm learning to not do that and only to eat when i'm hungry but this was amazing malika thank you so much for taking out the time to uh like i'm, I'm just thinking about food <laughs> Yes, you must. But this was amazing. Thank you so much for. First taking... recommendation I have. Yeah. Not a reading book, but my sister gave me this. It's called "Create Your Own Calm: A Journal for Quieting Anxiety" by Meera Lee Patel. Okay, best-selling author of "Start Where You Are," and basically this is the format where you write how you feel, you express it, you can draw, you can like describe things. If you can buy this you should if yeah you, it looks lovely live with anxiety and if you want some companion with you create your own calm hi please subscribe to chal chitra talks for the best recommendations and the cutest conversations <laughs>